Theo, our assistant, is going to now plug it into the car. Okay. Light turned green, that's a good sign. Okay, so we received our charge point charger. In the condo community we live, they installed a 250 volt, 50 amp, uh, four prong outlet for us. So that way we can charge this uh, as quickly as possible. Luckily their panel could handle the 50 watts, <clears throat> not the 50 watts, the 50 amps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but this was the most highly rated. It's used in a lot of public charging stations. So compared to the other chargers, it, it just seemed like the better one to go with. The cheaper ones just seem to have issues. Uh, you know, they're like around $300 versus this one's like $550. So yeah, we just went with that. It's about the same price probably as like a Tesla charger. This is for a Subaru Solterra. This is what comes in the box. They have bolts, drill bit, uh, socket in order to drill those, uh, you know, like they're little bolts. And then from here we have the, the actual charging plug and basically I'll have to wire it into, uh, into that box, I guess. So you, you must open it up and you can bolt it to the wall. Okay, we are outside where they installed the uh, 240 volt, 50 amp plug for us. Danger, that is the truth. It's a lot of amps, a lot of watts, volts, whatever. Install this thing. We are losing light, but I want to charge the car overnight. Because uh, it will take probably about 10 hours to get a full charge. Maybe less because we already have some charge on it. First, I have to open this up, I guess, and then wire the thing in there. No, this looks like it pops right off. And then there's uh. <clears throat> Pad. There's only 50 amp cable provided by charge point. Okay. Okay. So you can see we got the three wires and then I don't know what this is for. But anyway, I guess the two grounds, I don't, I don't know how they figured that out. But yeah. So remove the cable clip from the wire, do that. Uh, but do not discard it. Fold the wire ends and insert them into the bottom of the hole of the charging station. Match the green wire to the ground in the left terminal of the output block. And then red and black. Red in the middle and black on the right there. You can see there's a uh, a hole right there that this like this piece goes into like that <clears throat> i just twisted it around because it seemed better for those the blue and yellow wires it seemed like there's too much tension on it uh the way i put it in All right, the silver part is not visible, so I can close. All right, that seems good. I'm assuming you can see. So we got the green there, red, black on the right, and then this harness plugs in there and I kind of relieve tension off these wires by twisting this. 
because uh, they're little wires. These big wires can take, you know, more of a twist for sure. All right, next it does insert the four pin plug into the connector to the right. I did that first, so I broke the rules. While pushing the cable up, slide the cable clip into the slot. This secures the cable and acts as a strain relief. Flush and then, okay. So you can see that just snapped right in there with the cable clip wording upright. Well, it's not, okay, there we go. So I'll get my screwdriver. That isn't super easy, nothing wrong. Okay, all right, cover's in place now. Okay, what else? Uh, locate the default rating on the bottom of the station. Apply the new rating label that matches the station circuit. I'm gonna put it on this cover plate, I guess is the same one. Yes, yeah, so I don't even need to put it. It already says that, because that's what we're using. Uh, but I'm gonna need to hang it on something uh, while it's charging. So I'm gonna rig something up here just to hold it. So this is a waterproof uh, cover, and I had to put the outlet upside down because that's the way I guess uh, you got to do it. I figured it would have been the other way, but there's no hole on the top here. It's only on the bottom to secure it. And then I just have it hanging for right now. So let's go pull the car up and then we can plug this guy in. Okay, so we have this plugged in, and now I'm gonna flip the brake, the breaker. So now the light came on. Uh, watch and ensure the front uh, status light glows yellow, then blinks white. All right, so it's blinking white now, so it means it's good to go. Theo, our assistant, is going to now plug it into the car. Maybe because I'm close with the uh, car keys. <clears throat> okay, now the light is blue. I'm guessing that's a good thing. That means maybe it's charging, that it blinks blue. That's green, so I'm guessing it's doing it now. I'll check the app to see if that means it's all good. Giddy up. Okay. The next morning, had it charging overnight. And I guess when it finishes charging, it'll uh, the green light turns off. And this is still on blue, showing Wi Fi. Okay, so I gotta unlock the car. Then I can take that out. Charging complete. Uh, let's see. So 
So full charge is showing 289 miles is the maximum. And we know that's not fully accurate, especially if you run the AC or the heat. Um, but if you don't run the AC or heat, it's not bad. We'll have to test it, uh, like on a road trip, to see if, um, how far it can go with no AC and no heat. Alright, giddy up. So now you can see better in the day, but that's the uh, exterior 240 volt, 50 amp. So that's the 50 amp breaker for this. And I have to just hang it up here. There's really no where to put it. This wire is so short. And because the outlet is essentially upside down, um, but because of this lid, it makes it really tricky. Might be able to mount it here, potentially, but I don't know. I don't think so. So now you can see with some daylight. It's a four-prong plug. It goes in there. But uh, with this lid, it's a bit tricky plugging this sucker in for sure. Not bad. Okay, this is the charge point app. It's very pretty easy to just figure out what you uh, what you you know to keep track of the car when it's charging. I guess how much you're spending, and uh, you know when you're you're actually connected, it'll let you know. Uh, how much is charged. I think it's a very good app. It works well. So I'm glad that we spent the extra money, I guess, to get this charger. Yeah, let me know if you have had a similar experience or a different one with, di with this charger or a different one. Uh, yeah, send me a message. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching.